Medilink West Midlands, as part of its iHealth initiative, has launched the UK's first iHouse technology demonstrator in a fully refurbished Victorian terraced house in West Bromwich. The iHouse incorporates assistive technologies for people with long-term conditions and age-related illnesses. My long-term condition is actually very rare and it's called stiff person syndrome. It's a neurological condition that attacks the autonomic function of the brain. It um, affects like, your breathing, toileting, um, anything that's controlled naturally like walking, balance. Um, it's, it's very painful as well because it causes lots of spasms. Without the help of assisted technology, um, one, I felt isolated like a prisoner because I was continually reliant on individuals, the very caring individuals, family members and carers. Um, access issues were a problem because I couldn't move or do anything without assistance. Um, the main one for me was a lack of independence. 64% of people surveyed in a YouGov poll were pessimistic about the healthcare system's ability to cope with an ageing population. Those aged between 45 and 54 were the most negative. 36% of people polled were unaware of technologies that can provide health care in their own home. The government's got a quite wide-ranging approach to looking at issues around long-term conditions in the ageing society, and there's a whole host of different activities going on at the moment. Um, the key things that the Department of Health have issued have been coming from a white paper called Our Health, Our Care, Our Say, uh, which is trying to get uh, more independent living so that people aren't called into hospital for conditions when they've got long-term conditions. So, so you need facilities and you need to be able to look at how people can live at home rather than having to go for medical attention all the time. As part of the telehealth care programme, we plan to ask commissioners and providers and certain patient groups as well to, to come and have a look at the eye house and to see products for themselves. Um, it'll be an opportunity for them to understand uh, the return on investment should they decide to purchase products and how it will better meet the needs of their local population in terms of understanding how they'll self-manage long-term conditions, the benefits would be, for example, um, things like reducing hospital length of stay, reducing GP visits, improving quality of care. One of the other things that the Eye House is doing is bringing different groups of people together to work together in partnerships so that the, the project that, uh, that we're funding involves a diverse group of people. It includes industry, it includes people from the university who are doing research around design issues, but it also includes people who will be directly affected by living in establishments like this and living in housing like this. The Eye House is a perfect example of partnership working because it allows uh, Medilink West Midlands and NHS West Midlands to work collaboratively on a, a project that is about mainstreaming telehealth care across the West Midlands. Um, it means that both organisations can work together to develop the menu and to market the menu and to um, uh, get commissioners and providers and users of the equipment together in one place. The, the iHouse can promote product development in that it allows commissioners and users of various products to come together along with manufacturers and, and teams that uh, work on the development and you know, ongoing changes and uh, modifications to equipment to actually feed back directly to manufacturers and for that then to be part of a continuous improvement process for, for products that are being used. A mobile phone enabled by near-field communication technology allows the local authority, or PCT, to track remote workers or assets simply by scanning a tag. This sends information to a central server, logging the date, time, location and phone user. The piece of technology that was, is most relevant to me is something called the Possum. It's portable. And what it does, it con controls environmental things like turning lights on and off, um, anything in the kitchen, anything in any room can be um, programmed into it and it can be attached to my wheelchair which means I'm no longer a prisoner in the bedroom I can then move around my own house. There's a whole range of, of things that need to be done and the problem people like me have of course is deciding what the priorities should be for the future. So we've, we've looked at collaborative R&D programs and the technology base but there are also very big issues 
around what are the economic and business models for assisted living in the future and also what are the social behavioural impacts of what is the social and behavioural impact of changing the way um, care is delivered in the future. So there's lots of new things that could be done that need to be done um, around these wider agendas as well and we hope that the iHouse will be able to contribute in there as well in some way as well.